Hi guys, welcome to Technical Tuesday. My name's Andy Dudley and behind me is the Pronar MR15 six inch wood chipper. Pronar's based in Poland and have been in manufacturing for over 35 years. They have three divisions, recycling, municipal and agricultural. They employ over 3000 people and have nine factories. Let me take you around the MR15 now to show you some of the features and benefits. So starting at the front of the machine under the bonnet, Under here, we have a 37 horsepower Briggs & Stratton V-twin petrol engine. In front of this, we have the hydraulic oil tank, and you can see on the side here, we've got a sight gauge, so for easy maintenance. And then on the top of the tank is where the hydraulic filter is positioned as well. Again, all for ease of maintenance. Now from the engine, we have a direct drive into a twin V-belt system here, and this is driving the chip disc. Your chip disc has got two knives on there, and they're mounted 180 degrees apart. So on top of your chip disc housing, we have the discharge, and this is fully adjustable. So we can adjust it to left and right. We can adjust the flipper on the top here for directing the chip, but we can also fold this discharge for transport and for storage as well. So it makes it a low level machine for some of the guys that actually want to back it into the garage to store it out of the way. The main control panel of the machine is behind this Perspex cover. And on there, we have an ignition switch to obviously start and stop the machine. We have a throttle control to increase and decrease speed. And then we have a little control center and that gives any sort of safety warnings to come up on that screen. Behind here, we have a bank of six grease points. So instead of chasing around the machine, looking for your grease points on a daily basis, we can actually do them all from one point here. Just here we have a flow control for the feed wheels so it can speed up and slow down the feed system. So if you're doing big timber, you can have the, uh, the feed wheels running slowly. And if you're doing brash, things like that, smaller diameter, you can speed the feed wheels up. And just here is the access into the petrol tank. So from the back of the machine, we can see the red safety bar system. So that goes all the way around the pan. So in an emergency, if you lean against that, that stops the feed wheels. The other emergency stops we've got are on the top of the infeed pan. So again, any type of emergency, press that button in and that will actually kill the engine. The two buttons you see here on the side, electromechanical buttons, these are vibration and waterproof. And we have feed start, and then we have feed hold and reverse. And these are duplicated on the opposite side of the machine as well. So looking through the safety curtains, you can see the twin feed wheels in there. So these feed wheels are spring mounted as well. So they have a physical spring force pulling down on that top feed wheel and that helps to crush material as it's coming into the chip disc. So on this side of the machine, we've got access into your 12 volt battery. From there, we've got a lever and this is in the unfortunate circumstance that if you do get the feed system blocked up, you can use this lever to lift the top feed wheel out of the way and unblock it. We're here we have the operator's manual holder uh, parts list as well in there and then in the middle of the machine we have a lifting eye now this machine is 750 kilos in weight but some customers do need to crane their chipper into position so with this central lifting point you can put it on a high ab or a crane and lift it up into position thank you guys for watching technical tuesday if you do have any questions at all please leave them in the comments section below and also please like and share our social media pages and i look forward to speaking to you again soon